Here we have a problem on arithmetic sequence. Okay, let's go to the question. Which sum of the arithmetic sequence 98 over radical 7, uh, 99 over uh, radical 7, 100 over uh, radical 7, and it keeps going is uh, 324 over radical 7. So we have to find, uh, so this 324 uh, over square root of 7 is which term in this arithmetic sequence? That is, we have to find the portion of uh, this term. So whether it comes at uh, like 100th portion or 1 and 2th portion. So that's what we have to find. Okay, so I assume uh, this is the nth term uh, of the arithmetic sequence. Okay, so I assumed uh, this 324 over square root of 7 as the nth term. That is, an equals to 324 over square root of 7. So we have a formula for nth term of, uh, nth term of an arithmetic sequence. That is, a1 positive uh, d times n negative 1 equals to 324 over square root of 7. So in this equation, my aim is to find the value of n. For example, if I get n is equal to 1 and 55, just for an example I'm saying, then it will be a 1 and 55. That means this is 1 and 55th term. Okay, so now our target is to find the value of n uh, in this equation. For that, we have to plug in the values for a1 and d. Actually, a1 is the first term of the given arithmetic uh, sequence that is 98 over square root of 7. So we can plug in 98 over square root of 7 for a1 uh, positive d. d is a common difference. Uh, so to get the common difference in an arithmetic sequence, we have to find the difference uh, between the uh, first term and second term. So to get the difference, uh, I mean the common difference of an arithmetic sequence, so always there is a formula that is we have to subtract uh, the first term from the second term. That is uh, the formula to find uh, the common differences a2 negative a1. a2 represents the second term and a1 represents the first term. So d equals to the a2 is the second term is 99 over square root of 7. And a1 is uh, the first term which is 98 over square root of uh, 7. So now we have to simplify and find the value of d. So we have the common denominator square root of 7 and 99 negative 98. When I simplify this one, I'm getting 1 over square root of 7. So that the value of d is 1 over uh, square root of 7, the common difference. So we can plug in 1 over square root of uh, 7 for this d. Then I'm getting 1 over square root of 7 times n negative 1 uh, equals to 324 over square root of 7. Okay, now uh, 98 over square root of 7. And uh, when we multiply this 1 and n negative 1, so we get uh, n negative 1. 1 times n negative 1 is just n negative 1 over square root of 7 equals to 324 over uh, square root of 7. Okay, now uh, for uh, both the fractions, we have the same denominator on the left side over here. So we can take the common denominator square root of 7. So we have to add the numerators. That is 98 positive n negative 1 equals to 324 over square root of 7. Okay, so when I simplify this one, I'm getting n uh, positive 97. When I combine this 98 negative 1, I'm getting 97 over square root of 7 equals to 324 over square root of 7. Okay, since uh, we have the same denominator on both sides of the equation, that is square root of 7, but we can multiply both sides of the equation by square root of 7 to get up the denominator, the square root of 7, square root of 7 will cancel out. So I'm getting n positive 97 equals to 324. Okay, let me take the equation over here. So we have n positive 97 equals to 324. But our aim is to get the value of n. So for that, I have to subtract uh, 97 from both sides. So when I subtract 97 from both sides, uh, this positive 97, negative 97 will cancel out. Uh, when I subtract 97 from 324, I'm getting 227 on the left side. We have we have n. I got the value of n. n is equal to 227. So that means instead of this an, uh, now what we can write is a 227. So in the given arithmetic sequence, uh, this term 324 over square root of 7 is 227th term.